Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's March 29th, 2017. We're here on the beautiful map of Yeho Rivka. We're going to be running Operation Open Road, created by none other than Hutch himself. Got a little surprise for you coming up relating to that. And this is Squad Ops. My name is the Muff Bandit. I will do my best to commentate for you guys tonight. All right, we are good. And we are very lucky to have a co-commentator with us. His name is none other than Hammering Hutch. What's what up, is, Hutch? What is going on? <laughs> Stoked to be here tonight. Really looking forward to it. It's going to be a cool op. With uh, V9, we just had a bunch of upgrades and updates and everything. So this map has a, this map rather has a uh, whole new face to it. So looking forward to see how it plays out. Yeah, Operation Open Road is always fun. It's a, it's a great one. A lot of vehicle usage, uh, a lot of heavy hitting action, and a lot of fun. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So the overall well, premise, first, go for it. Yeah, take them away on it. Yeah, man. first of all, let's go over what uh, the teams are and the, the missions and everything. First of all, let's go off where they start. I'm watching Russia right now, and I think you're on my camera. I'm not sure. And they start at their main. See all the vehicles, regular Russia main. U.S. is going to start at the airfield down in the south. Golf 9, Foxtrot 9 right in there. They're going to start there because they're defending that, and the Russians' goal is to take the airfield for their own use. With that, the U.S. can place a FOB. They get one FOB and two Logies to run. We'll go into their assets shortly. Uh, they can build after live, but they cannot build on the runway of at all it's on that giant runway of the airfield they can't build there at all they need planes to utilize that uh, what else there are no vehicular or infantry restrictions either so you they can go anywhere do anything they want if they feel comfortable doing it barton's going to show you the giant airstrip that's barton's camera he's kind of going to be running around doing some side camera work. So big shout out to Barton. We'll go over the uh, the cameras here shortly as well. So much to cover. In the meantime, the squads are briefing. Let's go over who's leading the show and, and calling the shots. We'll start with Russia, and then we'll kick it over to Hutch to give us what USA is doing. So command for the Russians, round one, is going to be Lish. He's got three squad leaders with him today. They are Best Pony, Alexo, and Truth Realm. Oh, actually, nope. It's OD Tap. OD Tap is actually the squad leader. Okay. So they're going to be running three big squads. They're going to also have some vehicles to be running with that. But let's go over what each squad gets. They're going to have two ARs, one medic. That's squad off staples right there. But you, uh, the Russians are also going to get a grenade launcher for each squad. So they'll be able to lob some shots out there at the U.S. infantry as they're pushing in. They're also going to have two BTR-80s. That's not the 30 mils. That's, uh, I think it's 14.5 millimeters. They're going to have two of those and one APC uh, with the NSVT. That's an MTLB. Acronyms everywhere. Anyway, you guys will see it when we get going. It's got a night vision scope. Or the green scope or whatever you want to call it. In the meantime, let's go over to, to Hutch. He'll tell us what the U.S. forces are bringing per squad and what kind of vehicles they can use and defenses as well. So, yeah. And elaborate on yeah. anything Elaborate on anything you want, Hutch. You made okay. this up. So yeah, for sure. Do it um, so, let's just start off commanding. For U.S. side, it's going to be Schmitty. And he's followed up with first squad. Is going to be, let me check here, just make sure I got this right. Yeah, so Xbit's in charge of squad one. Squad two is uh, led by Benbot, and squad three is led by Krusty the Sailor. Um, I was listening to the command chat a little bit, and it sounds like squad two with Benbot is going to be handling all the vehicles that um, U.S. gets. So anyways, let me go over kits really quick. U.S. is going to get two times AR, so two saws per squad. They're also going to get two lats, all right? So they're using the law rockets. They get two of those per squad and a medic. So that's their squad. Uh, each squad is going to be built up of that. 
Um, their platoon um, assets, their platoon they're, getting assets. they're getting two open standard top open top Humvees, and then they're going to get and then they're going to get two transportation trucks and two lodges. And two so lodges. How is, so how this works is U.S. can utilize both those lodges, both those lodges, as long as they're still alive. As um, building up the in building up the defense field, however they, field, however they want to set up, however they want to choose to defend. Um, okay, and they won't, uh, they're not going to, they don't need an escort. They don't have to have a Humvee fall on that is, or anything. Yes. I, I know we've got another op that, yes, that they some, do need to escort it on. So. That's correct. Yeah, some ops do require that there's an escort be involved, but in this, they can just do runs as long as those lodges are alive. Um, they get the two trans, which are kind of an interesting asset. Most of the time, if they did, we didn't have that, the maneuverability for the defensive team would be really underhanded. It'd be about as far as they could walk. But those lodges, or excuse me, those trans trucks are going to give us the capability to punch out and set up little raids, maybe possible ambushes along the road to the airfield. So it's going to be interesting. I'm really looking forward to it, seeing how they're going to be playing it out. You know? Yeah, this one's always really good. It starts off pretty slow. You kind of got to wait for the Russians to position. They'll slowly start pushing in. But once it gets going, man, it's intense for everybody. There's there's for no sure. dull moments after the action starts. It's it's just crazy. It's so much fun. Yeah, it totally is. And, you know, it's interesting, like the name Open Road. I forget who initially developed this op. Um, but the whole idea behind it was it was actually a convoy op that we were setting up where Russia had to run a convoy from essentially their main to this airfield. And um, it morphed into us getting into a bunch of fights around where Novo is, right? Um, and so what yep. happened to a point where we're like, hey, what if we just defend the airfield? Because we weren't getting the balance just right with having a total convoy aspect of it. So Russia was just getting stomped. So we decided, hey, let's just defend the airfield. So we kind of tweaked that op open road around the airfield. But still, if you think about it, there's a lot of movement. If you look at the whole map of Yurivka, from Russia main all the way to that airfield, there's a lot of driving involved for you for Russia. And so there is some capabilities and potential for them to get ambushed along the way, you know, for us to go out and send some ambush party if they want, or if they want to harden up and just kind of play a hard defense and keep it all close to home near the airfield. So uh, that's pretty much the op in a nutshell and what's happening there. U S can build uh, up to four times 50 cal emplacements. Two of those, they can have, that will be bunkers. And then two are going to be standard uh, 50 cals, those little mod deuce on the tripod there. So uh, we'll see. It'll be interesting to see how U.S. is going to be laying out their their 50s, if they're going to be supporting fire, if they're going to do one in each direction. Um, it'll be kind of cool to see. And, you know, it plays out differently every time, you know, depending on the side of the airfield. In particular, with V9 dropping, the whole terrain's changed. Before, it was a bunch of buildings on the uh, north end, or the south end, rather, of the airfield. And that was it. You know, it was a bunch of big open ground. Now we have, I mean, a whole chain linked in perimeter and buildings up north and some hangars in the south. And there's even Everybody's fighting positions and some fight like foxholes dug in on the north end of the airfield. So it'll be cool to see like what the teams are going to utilize. You know what I mean, Muff? Oh yeah, this is going to be interesting. It's it's a a new operation now. Uh, any experienced commanders or anything? And actually, Lister's commanded plenty of times, and so Schmitty. So yeah. they both know what they're doing, and they are gonna oh they're God, gonna have fun with this. But it's a new it's a new attack and defense. They can't really use the the old tactics because the airfield is totally changed. Exactly. Yeah. So it'll be cool to see how each team kind of slices it up and uh, pushes towards the objective area. Yep. And I've seen that the U.S. have readied up. And it looks like Lish said standby. They're doing some final briefing. There's a couple of squads actually already loaded up. Yeah, U.S. is doing a uh, little command brief right here, like I was saying. Squad 2's got the vehicles. They're all standing by. Yeah, I, I missed out on half the plan, so fill me in. <laughs> they're all oh, ready. yeah, there's a, there's a chunk of them. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 in the APC. Have you seen any marks over there? squad in the BTR. For Russia? You know, there's, there are no marks on the map at all. So I'm, I'm just going to follow them. I'm not sure what they're doing. I've been talking or listening the whole time and not keeping up with the command chat. So it's going to be interesting. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's a lot of fun not knowing anyway. Uh, Fateless Warrior. Yeah, we do. We teach callouts, definitely. Um, it's part of our basic SOTT program, our squad ops tactic and training. Uh, Pugachev is our, he's our main man for that. He's writing new training courses all the time for different things. We're running through it all the time. Like we've got a vehicle one out, but the callouts, 
Yep, say, that's in our actually, basic. That's the one that's required. The only the only course that's required is basic SOTT. And Sad. and it's basically like, the three Ds. If I were to take a direction, then I distance, description. With this MTLB. So the, the main thing is where's it coming from? That's the first thing you want to call out. And this this goes for any game of squad for sure. Not just not just squad ops. Any a lot of games, any game. Knowing where they're coming from is really really important. I can do like maybe five so far, the Russians are completely loaded up. They got their two BTR 80s loaded up, and the APC just ready to rock and roll. Yep. Bunny is USA. driving. Exodus is driving. And Alexa is driving. Okay. Yeah, let's go over the cameras really quick. Uh, you've got mine floating around. The other one you're going to see floating around all the time is is actually Barton. But he, he's kind of working for Hutch a little bit because Hutch can't stream a camera but that's okay because we got him here commentate uh next we've got xbit you know and he's he's a squad leader on schmitty's side so that's good you're gonna hear some squad leading stuff going from him uh next one's jay remick next one is the russian squad leader lish And he will be followed by the U.S. squad. Uh, I'm sorry, not squad leader, commander. That was commander Lish, and the U.S. commander Schmitty next. Followed by a Russian squad leader Alexo. Next up will be Sedingo. Followed by Hyper Evo. <laughs> And our last camera is going to be Bunny. So you'll be seeing about 10 different cameras this whole time. Just uh, let the back BTR pull around us. I think there was some confusion. We're live. Let's see. Where do you guys think that battle is going to initiate, says Versatile86. You know, it's tough to say. The Russians are going to try and get as close to the airfield as they can without being spotted. They really want to have the elements of surprise. But this MTLB is so loud. So we could probably look for it to get positioned somewhere. Well, everybody else, we'll see them move on in on foot at the end unless they get spotted. And it really depends what the U.S. is going to do also. Because the U.S. could come in, they could send out their two Humvees to, to, to go hunting and find somebody and initiate or, or, you know, hit and run or something like that. They will definitely be scouting. Good job, Lachi. But it gets really cool when Russia gets close to the airfield. You guys are watching Hyper Evo. He's on the U.S. side. Uh, disturbed faces asked a question: Did we, did we get that made in, or did we make that in Project Reality too? Uh, no, we don't. Actually, some of us play Project Reality, but there is no squad ops relation to to Project Reality at all. We are strictly a squad-based community. But we have people playing different games in the Discord all the time, and that's great. Other games are fun too. But we're following the Russians. They are going straight through northwest. What is that, Petrivka? Yeah. Following the roads, keeping a good space in between them all. This yeah. is going to be interesting. We have a U.S. just threw a Humvee down in storage site, or actually a transport truck. And if we die, it's their fault. Got some guys dismount around storage. I'm interested to oh, see really if up by storage? spot them down here. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, cool. They threw a we're on that. There. We're on the road coming through like. Echo 5 into Foxtrot 6. Yeah, that main, I wonder. That MSR there. I wonder if they catch oh, I any see the red dots. Them. I see the red dots. There's those, a good chance they'll be able to hear it. Yeah, this track At least vehicles, the MTLB. They, they're set up pretty far west. Let's see if they have anything else forward of that around the airfield. Looks like they do. They got a little bit more of a tighter security with their Humvees. Which is smart. It looks like they got a pretty good fan out, which I like. Um, being a little aggressive with the recon right out of the gate can be helpful, at least to get that viable information of where they're going to be. 
but I think one thing that's really going to be vital is just to make sure that it's it's a gamble getting guys extended that much, like that far out away from their objective area. You know what I mean, Muff? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And they're doing it. They got some guys out there. Is there another vehicle? There's a vehicle cruising around, uh, kind of by yeah, Central we have Novo. Yeah, we have a Humvee around, uh, yep, exactly, out in Novo All right, proper. the convoy, the, the Russian convoy is coming in straight Whatever, into the Central Novo from the MSR. I don't hear any comms right oh, now coming in. They've, they've, they've hit the brakes. Everyone's out. getting out. The, the Russians are going in on foot. The BTRs have emptied. Save drivers and gunners. Same with the MTLB. All right, let's get Alpha. You're gonna be left down the line towards the corner. Control of your boys. Alpha. You, All right, uh, the Russians, Russians are starting to spread out. Me. They've still got, still pretty close together. Bravo, they are unspotted. They've made her pretty far south, pretty quick. They're over halfway to the airfield. You're kind of setting up like an objective rally point, essentially getting staged before their final push on the airfield. Oh yeah, they've just they are lining up on the wall here. This is going to look really cool. They could they could probably spread out a little bit, but you know they they feel no real threats yet. So we got a Humvee coming down the road, Muff. Let me see when they get eyes on or not. Oh yeah, let's check it out. This the Humvee BTR might just, just pull it off. Oh, they broke? Nope, it broke off. Man. There is a, it's a downward slope across from them, so. Oh, that's sweet. You know, for me, Muff, this is the first time I've actually sit here and watched an op from the beginning, and you realize, like, the magnitude of how many players are on the field right now, like, working together. Oh, team, yeah, like... isn't it just awesome? Jeez, There's this so is many cool. people. <laughs> like, for the yeah. most part, I just follow the Russians, you know, and there's so many of them. It's so hard that you, it's, you can't keep track of where everyone's at and where they're going, especially when the battles start happening. What it's I'm concerned of, about. It's a lot of fun too, especially watching. Just keep doing the yeah. Lines. My concern now is we got U.S. They're spread out on the on the uh, west side of the map, a long ways, like a long way from home from their defense area. Copy. We're on the move. I'm not sure what they're. And it appears that they're pressing east for. now. The the Russians are. Just hope they have a there good. There are. I can plan, see some more red you know? dots over there. But the Russians are pushing. The, the BTRs are moving way west. I'm sorry, yeah, east. Yeah. And they're starting to push a little bit east. One squad is best got... pony squad. Where are the rest of the U.S. Absolutely. forces? Got... Since... Oh, oh, sorry, Muff. Go ahead. I keep cutting you off. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Go ahead. Where, where's the rest of the U.S. forces? We see so, the U.S., I mean, we got uh, Expert with squad one. They're out in, like, Alpha 9. Way off on the west side. And then oh, you got squad wow. three sitting at storage. And then squad two's running logistics and I think hey, reconning hey. with the Humvees right now. But uh and then a small defensive force on airfield building up. So I mean okay. it's gonna be interesting how how this unfolds, you know. I think it's gonna be a race back home once they actually do initiate contact. But I like how Russia's moving right now, utilizing the wood line. Um but once they get to that point, Where's Hyper? Uh, no, we want to spread out. Like a different yeah, if you Russia were Russia right, right now, Muff, how would you like? How would you be pushing this? You know, yeah. what do you think? Well, you know, it's hard to say. It looks like they got a pretty sound plan. They're using the trees, the tree, and cover as best they can. They haven't seen anything yet. I heard Lish say Humvee over the radio, but I don't think they seen them or anything. Mm -hmm. So I'm following. I'm still above Lish and the main infantry units, but they are spreading out, heading south. Mostly southeast a little bit. The BTRs are kind of leading the way. Like yep. MTLB is way in approach. the back. Uh, they know it's loud, so they're keeping that MTLB uh, way back. Also, which is smart. But now they're starting to move on foot. It's really cool watching them just kind of like, so saunter along. Absolutely. Sneaking through the trees. This is really cool. Yeah, I like with V9, like they've the... added a lot of a lot of trees and concealment, which has mixed up this map a lot where it breaks up that line of sight so you don't have these massive, long, like, sniping engagements where vehicles are, are kind of king. Now with the woods, it gives infantry a real fighting chance, which I like quite a bit. Oh, it does, and it's great. It's such a beautiful map now. I mean, it, it was really cool when it first came out. It seemed like right before version 9 came out, people were getting a little tired of it. But yeah, it's, it's now nice it's just one to of get the it. favorite maps by everybody. 
80. Yeah, it's freshened up quite a bit. Like I love seeing I'm I can see sh tr tree shadows and people's shadows. Okay, my BTR's oh, maybe not people's shadows. They have eyes but the sun these. and the glare and stuff is just yeah, beautiful. Yeah, convoy eyes on on my boy as well. Yep, All right. So it's starting to light up. His lodges are getting hearing hit now. Oh, nice. I'm hearing a little bit of contact or comms. The BTRs were shooting at the lodges, but there is a Humvee coming from their west. Yep. There appears to be a Humvee to wreck west with buckshot and bear on a tricycle in it. Oh, jeez. I'm on Hammer and Hebrew and Wook, and then Exodus and Jackal Purcell are in front of them. Looks those like Bloodshot's sneaking up with Bear on a tricycle. Yeah, man, those Lodges are in a sketchy spot. I think what, what Rush is doing right now is really good. They're starting to lock off that logistics line, so that's preventing how much more building U.S. is going to be able to do, which is a or before they go in for their main attack. I like, like that quite a bit. Oh, they're still hitting the. Oh, they're hitting that Lodgy bad. That Lodgy's on fire. Yep. Oh, and there's a Humvee to the north or the south. They're actually hitting the Humvee. We're about to look out. We're taking heavy damage. The Humvee's shooting back, not hitting. He's driving so fast, though. There's still another Humvee to the west of both BTRs. I've got both BTRs in my screen. Hammered Hebrew and Whoop just chilling out, taking shots. Oh, yeah, they, they're popping shots yeah, now. Oh, yeah, there they go. I was on I BTR. There goes the Lodgy, another Lodgy run. If not, I need to know what's going on down there. Yeah, they're hitting a, they're hitting the Humvee with a couple of them. Yeah, Lodgy's taking some pretty hard hits. Oh, looks like one Lodgy just nope, it's fine. Looks like it was gonna go flying in my screen. Yeah, they're hurting, but it's gonna be tough to have U.S. get some more logistic supplies out and in and in place. You know, so it looks like to me, yeah. Rush is kind of going with the unique approach on here. They're hitting it from the uh, from the northeast. From the northeast, actually. yeah. Yeah, which if you think about it from an infantry standpoint, they got some pretty sparse trees and some large open fields they're going to have to cross. Big, big green fields here, yeah. You know? Yeah. Because we were taking contact all the way down to G10. Yeah, that was the last place it was spotted, but we were taking Hopefully, you know, maintaining those armored vehicles that they have and utilizing the range, they can get in there and really kind of maybe at least keep the defense of the U.S. pinned down and in place, you know? Um U.S. still really isn't pulling their guys back in just yet, which I'm kind of surprised about. But That's what I was wondering, where the rest of them were. There's, the Russians are closer to the airfield than the U.S. soldiers now. Yeah. But, I mean, that's the challenge and the beauty of it when you're running in an op, whether you're the squad level, fire team, whatever, is just that it's all very simple when we're looking up here at a bird's eye view. But when you're down on the ground, man, it's everything's right in front of your face and you don't have all the information. And so it's it can be a bit challenging, you know, make things happen quickly and effectively, you know? Northern area. Oh, Humvees taking shot, or I'm sorry, the BTRs taking shots in, Hammer Hebrew and Wook. Copy that, Humvee. Oh, they're actually getting shot at. Uh, they're taking something there. They're getting hit by, uh, oh, by a Humvee. And they're on fire. They really got lit up by that, that open top Humvee there. It seems like they had the, the shot on them, too, the advantage shot. Good effect on target right now with 50 cal. Yep, yeah, my BTR is taking shots from the airfield that had to pull back. Golf 9 key 4 copy, is that? That's northwest in the open. Uh, you can expect that BTR to stay back. They run fire. They're going to support the infantry for now. Jackal Purcell and Exodus still, still in position. Oh, they see him. They're taking shots. Right at him. There yeah. we go. Took the gunner down. Or somebody. 
I wonder if he's reloading. Jackal Purcell might be reloading. Yeah, he was reloading. Hey, he's lighting him up. Good shots. They bailed. They know they're in trouble. Oh, man. Good so one shooting. Omni's gone. Oh, he sees the other one. He's shooting at him. Roger that one. Good Got him on the run. Infantry keep moving around. I need one taking point at the very south side of that defilade. If one needs to get stamina, all squads hold that one get point. All right, he's following him as he ran. So one Humvee down for the U.S. There's only one left. It's got Termi and Sergeant NATO in it. Great work by Jackal Purcell and Exodus right there. They took down one and scared the other one off. In the meantime, Hammer and Hebrew and Wook MT and the other BTR are still hanging back. They were on fire, so they're definitely damaged. And Russian infantry is staggering in. They had a long ways to run, but they're on it. Wide open fields up here. Let me go. I'm wide go, open fields up here. I'm gonna go take a look over uh, with the rest of the U.S. It looks like um, X Pit Squad finally is loaded up, and it looks like they're trying to slowly start getting back to base to provide that support. So we'll see if they can beat the clock essentially with this push from Russia coming from the east, northeast. They can, you know, get that reinforcement in from the west in time. I'm hoping they do. We have MTLB on the uh, northwest side, just engaging stuff. That'd be a big bonus for U.S. to get a full squad back in place. Oh, it would. They've been sitting out in the back 40. Russians everywhere. <laughs> just waiting. <laughs> yeah, they're moving. They're just booking it across these, these this yeah, they're smashing. open hillside. Basically, there's just no vegetation, just grass, bushes here and there. Ah. Are you crouching? You're following Alexo as he's in the wide open running. Now let's get my uh, stamina back. Gotcha. Yep, so it looks like U.S. Oh. is pulling everything back in. Jackal Purcell and Exodus taking shots. Oh, they're, they're taking more. They're on fire now. Oh, they're burning good. Oh, they're down. Man. My BTR is straight. I think now, that was the... We have another BTR. I don't know if that's north what of the was airfield. That? Oh, that was the crows. Or not the crows, the open top Humvee, though. That was the Humvee. Took him out. What was the. Have they stopped running Lodgy so far? I certainly don't see any vehicles moving. It appears Schmitty's gone down for the U.S., so command for U.S. has gone down. I'm not sure when or where. Looks most like, likely BTR fire. Probably Xpit is probably going to take that 2IC. I haven't heard over the comms just yet yeah, really? what's happening with that. But uh, this could be interesting with uh, Bunny right, and uh, Squad 3 coming back into main with Krusty the Sailor there. there. I got a fat I don't... Wow. I've got <laughs> one Russian squad almost at U.S. Army main. Flanking the hell out of them. If there's a... If there's a there's Lodgy's coming. They're not going to be running for long. They'll get picked off. What else do we got? Chain of command just officially got handed over to Xbit. He understands he's now 2IC for the platoon. And he's rolling back up in a vehicle. Haul into the airfield. We're going to run into the fence. Sit rep on where the BTRs are. In the meantime, OD tap squad is kind of uh, hanging back other one next to this other BTR, star, which has uh, Wooken Hammer and Hebrew in it. Lish, Absolutely. the command for the Russians, is looking across the big field. He's got a little dip. Actually, there's hardly anything. He's taking a look. What do you see there, Lish? Lish and you're right there next I think we got a camera on him, too. To go ahead and take command of it for now. Uh, you can go ahead and do that if He's you want. pretty much looking at nothing. I'm looking over his shoulder. You can probably see some sandbags and razor wire. But there are, there's a good squad in there. And Muff, if you look directly north one of your position. One or two position. guys on fifties. Directly north? Yeah, check out what's happening north. All right, let's check We got Krusty out. squad oh, in a nice Flank ranger in. file. Yeah, Krusty's making it happen right now. Yeah, they're moving up, starting to spread I, out I'll a bet little you bit. This, if they get a rocket on this BTR, they're going to be in trouble. I'm going to hover over the BTR for a second while yeah. Krusty pushes up. This could be interesting how this how this unfolds here. Copy 
Yeah, north of Wonsoon. Alright, we're moving. We're on the way. We've got the MTLB up here as well. Oh, BTR's taking shots. I think Lish might have got hit. Lish did get hit. He's alive though. Just need all you guys to move into that trench. Get ready for a mass assault. We'll have the vehicle. Oh yeah, let's just give orders. Ready to mass assault. Three, you're gonna lay down a lot of fire while you guys push up. Throw your smoke. Get up against the compound. Here comes Krusty. They're right on the verge. BTR sneaking back up here. We need to commit. These kind of satellite patrols are in really interesting muff that we got going on here with US as they start to kind of reinforce and go back to Maine. They're starting to almost collapse the outer edges. So if they catch Russia out in the open moving in, this could be kind of tricky. So maybe just uh if you go forward just a little bit, I might be able to press interesting I'm dynamic that we got I'm going excited on. Excited to see how crust these guys do up here. Yeah. If they that's see exactly the BTR and the N V S T there or the NSVT gonna get MTLB, lost up. it's gonna be real nice. Cause you know they've got they got two, two lats, lats on that squad. Two yeah. lats in that squad. So they could either volley fire on one vehicle or they could each give a hit on each one. There's one. Oh, he overshot it. Oh, yes. he overshot the BTR. So I think that's three. Big Jimmy. Oh, just whizzed their head. They're turning around. Oh, right. one hit. One hit, one uh, miss. One miss. So they've got one left. So Jimmy's out BTR of rockets, shoot. right? Yeah. I believe Jimmy's out, and I think it's Maury Eats Kids is the other one. And he's taking this. He's lining up. He's got him. Blows got him up. Got one. Beautiful. That's Wook MT, Lish, and Hammered Hebrew. So the Lish command is down. The MTLB's heading back. He knows there's nobody left, or no rockets left. Everybody's getting down. <laughs> In the meantime, Russia's getting staged for their final push. Wow. American Bunny are just driving around everywhere, but they haven't seen anybody yet. There's a whole squad here. This is this is awesome. They're in the middle of them. Oh, they just they went right past all of them. I'm surprised that we're not getting the comms from Krusty up. Oh my really... gosh, Silas is right behind the tree. There we go. Yep, Krusty's. Krusty's giving the word. It looks like Russia. Eric's looking around with his gun. They're using that little tree line. Barton, if you could come over here and catch this, catch this tree line out, brother. Which one over at the Russians here? Yeah, just due east of the airfield on that north side. All right, we'll, we'll get Barton on. I'm going to follow this MVS. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Keep seeing how this unfolds over there. NSVT. Oh man, I get that wrong. Is it the big uh, two-story? They've taken off, actually. And you know what? They haven't taken a single shot, I don't think this the MTLB has. For the Russians. They're repositioning themselves. So we got, like, third squad with tap on the Russian side. They're just doing the, uh, the old skull drag up that ditch. be interesting if they make it, you know? Which is such a pucker factor in and of itself. When you're just oh yeah! Crawling up towards the objective area, just like man, hope this works. Why I suggest crawling through the fields? Unfortunately, uh, I don't think that'll be possible. Oh, they are just lined up, right? Copy. Right. Um, we're going to begin the charge. I mean, we got a whole Russian infantry force down here. Make final preparations. Call it out. You're going to have to close that gap, which is going to be interesting, you know. The TAPS guys, so I wonder how far they're going to try to push up, if they're going to try to push through all of it, or when they're going to break that line of sight, you know. Yep. Muff, if you were with Russia very well right crawl now, down that whole. You how would very you well be... crawl down that whole trench. Yeah, they might be able to. If they could get over there far enough, they could throw a bunch of smokes, and then that would close help them. the distance. Oh, yeah, there especially they go. if... If a squad they're gets throwing up down there. the suppression, there we go. Here and comes the got... suppression. They're they're running down the little trench, the ditch, and throwing, leading with smokes. First squad of the Russian team is doing that left flank, right out in the open. This is where it starts getting crazy. Yeah, 
Let's back it up and check it out. They got a whole. They, all right, the Russians have Alexo squad on the far east. This is east, yeah. They're providing suppression. Yep. Well, on the south side, best ponies pushing up through the wide open field. Well, tap squad is just throwing smokes galore and pushing that way, drawing all the fire. In the meantime, best pony squad is at the road. They're at the road, ready to throw their own smokes and suppression. They've all gone prone. Alexo still provides suppression. They're getting shot back at. Tap squad is up the ditch. They're past the smoke. Magellan is crazy. He's crazy. He just ran right across the road. <laughs> There they go. Now they committed. Oh, and he's on the wall. There goes Tap Squad. They're pushing the road. Oh, Tap goes down. Gets dropped from a, behind a sandbag by either Ben Bot or I can't read the other name. Big Yes is down. Slinger is down. Taking some heavy casualties for the Russians. There's smokes everywhere. Here come all the smokes for Best Pony Squad. This is It's going to look like a freaking Cypress Hill concert in here when those things go off. Bajalan goes down up north for the Russians. They got to make sure they save some smokes for across the road. You know, this isn't the only open area they're going to have to cross. There's a lot of open areas and kill zones over there. Yeah, that's those. the big thing. They're, a lot they're of wasting a lot of smokes. There. I'm going big right now. Aim for the smokes. Aim for the smokes. They're shooting at us from our north. Jay Remick is through the smoke. He's coming up on the wall. There's three, U, five U.S. soldiers on the other side. Jay Remick is so close to five U.S. soldiers. Got Russians and U.S. soldiers using the same wall to cover themselves. Jay Remick's falling back. Chaka and Best Pony are prone on the wall. Best Pony's down at the corner. The U.S. soldiers are starting to fall back as well. Expit, the current commander, is right there, and I think Best Pony is the current commander for the Russians, so they're so close to each other, 50 meters away. I'm waiting, I'm waiting for grenades. There we go. A couple. Yeah, I don't think they they're aware of each other's position quite yet. Oh, and here comes some wall banging. Is Termi going to get through? Oh yeah, Termi's getting the piercing. He's doing work. Oh, there goes the grenade by It's Crispy. Let's see if he hits anything. Nope. It was scary though. Oh man, if Termi gets the right angles with that 50 cal, he could drop a few Russians here. Oh boy, You're doing really good with Russia having that outer security to the northeast. Oh, I just saw a couple Ooh. Russians go down in the northeast. I think they took a grenade. We missed that was it. Blue on blue. Yeah. Here comes the Lexo squad. They're throwing some smokes to get across. You know, they've already pretty much secured the way across if they can sneak down here. Hey, watch it with that MT. Little oh, great crack. GL. Great GL. We're hitting a tap. I think that was Jay Remick with the grenade launcher. That was beautiful. Took down little Jin. Here comes some shots. Russians established a breach point on the south side of the compound, which is good. Yeah. Dr. Kamikaze and it's crispier in there. They've got to get through Jack Boot. They've also got Brolando laying down over there. Jay Aside Remick from the Humvee, from his medic. I don't see anyone else using 50s besides what, you know, what's on the Humvee. Let's look at the kills here. Oh, it's 13 to 13 for incapacitation. So, Wow. We're tied for kills. Uh, you know, I think that Russia is losing the smoke grenade battle because they've got to be running low. They've <laughs> thrown so many. But other than that, this is just beautiful gameplay by both sides. The U.S. have held up. Uh, they they got back. They fell back in time. Here's Krusty's Krusty guys made just it back. in the nick of time. Yep. Coming to spread out. All that. We're gonna see right some as the Russians are starting to get in and get reorganized. Turn me sitting on the Humvee. <laughs> He's still sitting there. Getting ready to light him up. Oh, he's dropped a few. Termi is tearing it up right now. He's got five so far. Oh, and he goes down. Looks like Air Best Pony got him. On the west side of Airfield, Jay Remick's right, shooting up in the Airbnb. top of the building. He's shooting at Big Jimmy and Silverman. Right, Alexo's guys on the east side, they're coming in. They've got, they've still got smokes going. Roger that. All right, I got most of the US, or Russian soldiers in my screen now. Actually, most of the entire leftovers. Get them. This has been intense. Once it gets going, it just gets intense. Hey, they're really close. They are really close. Yeah, we got Big Jimmy covering the uh, west side, where there's essentially oh, a Alexo fire team of Russians. Oh, takes down Tedish. 
Or maybe yeah, Sexy Summer another. does. Oh, he gets hit. Sexy Summer's down, that's CG Foo. Ooh. Who's left over there? Jay Remick? Is he the last one left? Yeah, and you got the Silverman. Looks like Jay Remick's under the truck, got one. taking cover for his life. He takes down Silverman. Numbers low for both sides. We're at 21 to 19. So it looks like, let's just do a quick count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, eight. There's eight Russians left. Two of them are in the MTLB and they're on their way. It's Bunny and Merrick. In the meantime, what do we have for US? Two, four, five. Looks like about five left for the US. So Russian advantage now. CG Foo's going to run around, see if he can take out J Remick. Maybe not. So, Muff, what do you think it's going to take for uh, Russia to close the distance right now? You know what? I think Russia is in a great spot. They've got the numbers and a vehicle. Mm -hmm. I do, too. The U.S. has this Humvee left, but no one's near it. I a big thing is... Oh! That MTLB just took a rocket. But Kahuna goes down. Kahuna, I think, fired it. Oh, he's going to fire another? If he hits wow, him again... Wow, it's going to go, I bet. Kahuna goes down. Merrick's staying on the now. gun. <laughs> you get off it. <laughs> Merrick... Yeah, Mer Merrick got him, though. So, oh, it's down. They got out in the nick of time, Merrick though. Merrick and Bunny are both alive. You know what? That could have been a... That was huge for the U.S. right there. I'm getting hit by a friendly... Watch it. He's in the bunker. Alexo's now in command. He's he's encouraging his guys to push in and clear. As dangerous as it may be. Rest, okay. Uh, oh, CG Foo takes down Alexo as he's walking by. CG Foo's on the corner of the garage just north of Polecat and Remick. Uh, Grim HD and Silas are also up there. So th there's four U.S. left, and there's two, four, six, seven Russians. We've got Sendingo, CG Fu, Silas, Grim HD, and Cool Breeze. So five, five U.S. soldiers, about eight Russians. Yeah. We got Kills Fulcrum over there. here on the right side of the road, just slowly creeping up. Yeah. Oh yeah, nice. Pulling some out, out, outer security around the compound. Where is he? Oh, there. He's, uh, there yep. he is. Yep, okay, so there's six watching. of them. Yep. Okay, that makes sense. So six on two, four, six, seven. Six on seven. Or actually, nope, another Russian went down. So it's six on six. So right here, we're just going to have to see what these remaining forces do. Alexo, I believe, is the only squad leader left. A crazy Russian goes down. CG Fu and Grim HD and Silas are on the north. CG Fu is holding that building well. Oh, he's getting another one. He got CeeLo. CG Fu is just killing it from that corner. He's taking down two. Looks like Grim HD and Silas are also helping him from up there. J Remix is coming up. He's, is he going to see CG Fu? Oh, he sees Grim HD and Silas. He's taking shots. J Remix going back to reload. CG Fu drops a nade on the corner. J Remix went back under the truck. CG Fu is pick and shoot. Oh, J Remix drops CG Fu. Whoa. Oh! Secondaries didn't get him. Oh, that was crazy. J Remick was under that truck and it just blew up. I think he's stuck now. <laughs> he's stuck. All right, we got Bunny walking up on Sedingo. Bunny's got a cam. We might get his angle here. But you got Fulcrum flanking up behind there. him, though, on the other side of the road. See where Bunny's at, Muff? Oh, yeah, there's Fulcrum. Fulcrum's creeping up. A little love triangle forming here. <laughs> love triangle. Yeah, it's pretty much the tail end of it where it's like the last few guys are starting to slowly creep in, and we're getting the uh, the last end of it. I like how U.S. has got a 
a good uh, fire team over fire team minus a guy. They got to get three man team pushing up the cool breeze. Yeah, staying together. Yep, I like that. That teamwork's essential, especially when you're getting low. And here comes Fulcrum. He's going to try to get across to help Sedingo. You think Bunny think may catch him on it? Yeah, maybe. I, I know Bunny could hear Sedingo, so he's been looking through there. Oh, Bunny goes down. Fulcrum saw him. Fulcrum caught him. So we've got Polcat basically left for the Russians because Jay Remick is stuck. We got our, our three man team on the house to the south, which is good. Watching the street. And then you got Sedingo, man in the second deck on the building to the east. Fulcrum's providing a little bit of outer security. So U.S. is in a pretty good defensive position as far as like watching the different avenues of approach. And they got good interlocking fields of fire here, which I like seeing that coordination. As long as we just get comms, I'm not hearing much on the on the uh, command comms. From the so it'll be interesting to see uh, how much communication. I mean, yeah. they may be down where everything's isolated, you know, and it's just yeah, it's gonna all be local. local. Yep, it's yeah. gonna be local or within I squad. Our, I got our old if they have covers, yeah. squad mates. So. I can hear Jay Remick shooting, trying to draw him because there's nothing he can do. He, he's only a target right now. See what Polcat does. As soon as he goes east or north, he's going to hit. Some... I wonder if Sedingo can see him. They're looking at. Uh, they're looking at Jay Remick, who's stuck. Oh, Grim HD is going to see him. Oh, yep. Down he goes. Now they Very might call weird. that good game. I think so too. Because yep. Jay Remick's stuck. We'll see what they do. You can see all the other cameras floating around now that have died. Once you die, you get a watch. That's the beauty of it. You don't just lay there dead and have to wait. No, you get a watch. We're going to call it. He's glitched out in the truck. I'm going to blast it right now. That's fine. There's no other, uh, no other Russians around, right, Muff? No, there's not. They are. Cool. Yep, we'll, Jay Remick we'll is the only him. one left. He's glitched out in the truck. That was a good one. <laughs> really good first round. I mean, it was close, too. There, there was only a handful. Four left for the Russians. Five. I'm sorry, for the U.S. And you know what? We're going to switch it up. We're going to throw a list on command of the U.S., throw Schmidt on Russia. Let them square up their squad leaders. Advise a plan for attack and defend. Get situated. We're going to take a five-minute break. Go get yourselves a drink. Stretch your legs. Call your mom. Tell her you love her. And we'll be back in a few.